After the brilliant Kayak VR Mirage, which I still consider one of the best looking games on PC VR launched alongside PSVR 2, it wowed many of us with its beautiful realistic visuals, plus it's had numerous updates including the brand new level featuring some whitewater kayaking, but this is paid for DLC. It is an awesome update for sure, but it still feels like more of a complement to the original content and in reality it is only quite short, but it did scratch my itch enough to ignore the release of Whitewater VR Extreme Kayaking when it originally released on PC VR. That is until today because Whitewater Kayak Extreme Adventure is now available on PSVR 2, and I was curious what does this game have to offer versus Kayak VR Mirage and, and should gamers invest especially if they already own Kayak VR? So I've been back and forth between the two games today and they are definitely different experiences and if you include the Whitewater DLC in Kayak VR Mirage both games have five levels and both feature different locations and I actually love them all equally. To kick off my review of Whitewater Kayaking visually it is quite close to Kayak VR Mirage it's definitely more impressive than I expected, but Kayak VR Mirage still does have the edge, but only slightly. The water in Kayak VR Mirage is a bit more natural looking and in combination with some jaw dropping set piece moments. For example, when the sun peers over the mountains, or there's just different color water in different locations, and it's all put together with some beautifully atmospheric music and sound effects. Kayak VR is still more the emotional jaw dropper. However, if you're only after the wide water rush, I would definitely recommend Whitewater Kayak VR. I found myself completely loving the complexity of the courses and this feels more of a game to get good at. It's fast and there's some excellent moments when it does come to the visuals. I often found myself looking around and being impressed with the animals or the Amazon ruins or spitting lava in one of the levels but the water current does move at such a speed it's quite hard to take it all in unless you fight the current. When it comes to other modes other than just exploring, both games do have a time attack mode but Whitewater does have a twist where you have to hit wooden boxes to gain more time, similar to a time attack mode so if you miss a box you will run out of time and both of these games do feature online leaderboards. So to summarise, Kayak Vyama Mirage is a fantastic sim which is mostly about the visuals, atmosphere and the occlusion of having arms and a body in the kayak do make it slightly more immersive for me. It also features some huge open areas to explore and set pieces like killer whales jumping out of the water. But Whitewater VR Extreme Kayaking Adventure does exactly what it states on the tin. It's a challenging extreme kayaking experience with beautiful environments and it had me hooked from start to finish. So it does boil down to what you're looking for. Kayak VR Mirage does have whitewater kayaking DLC as I mentioned earlier and it is pretty awesome but it's also a little bit slower and is only really a tiny part of the whole level. But Whitewater Kayak VR is all about the rush of whitewater kayaking. There's plenty of times you'll be smashing against rocks and I just found it so much more physically engaging. Things I missed while playing were headset haptics and having a body in the kayak. Both games do deserve to be on the PlayStation Store as they offer very different experiences. But if say you can only afford one, I would still go for Kayak VR Mirage. Going back in today left me reminded how beautiful it is and the varying weather and day and night cycles, plus now an online multiplayer mode, do give it the edge for me personally. I hope this video helps you make a decision, and if it does, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video.